All right, so we we know how to factor quadratic equation. Um, advantage of that is that uh, we can see the solutions right off the bat if we can factor it. Like if we've got x squared um, plus 3x plus 2 equals 0, well, that's clearly x plus 2 times x plus 1. So either x equals negative 2 um, or x equals negative 1. Uh, but what if we change it up a bit? x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Um, do you know of any factors of negative 2 that add to 3? Because uh, I don't. Uh, so <laughs> we got to figure out another way to solve this. Uh, so it turns out people have solved this problem a while ago, um, and there's an equation that we can just plug our numbers into. Uh, it's called the quadratic equation. Uh, so I'm going to write it down here. Um, now, a quadratic equation, it's not just something you pull out of thin air. It comes from somewhere, and we'll see where it comes from in a bit. But for right now, just know that this is how to solve the equation. So that's that's for a quadratic equation of the form like ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So here a is a one, b is three, c is negative two. So solutions to this are x equals negative b, so negative three, plus or minus square root of b squared is nine minus four times 1 times negative 2 over 2 times 1, uh, which is negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 plus 8, because uh, there's this term would come out to negative 8, and then it's 9 minus negative 8, so it's plus over 2. Um, which is negative 3 plus or minus square root of 17 over 2. Uh, so our, our two solutions then are, should I write it? Let's do it here. 3 plus root 17 over 2, and 3 minus root 17 over 2. Um, if you find the decimal representations of these and plug them back into here in your calculator, it should check out. Um, let's do, let's do another example of using the quadratic equation. So I'm going to keep the quadratic equation up here. How about something like 100 x squared plus 50x minus uh, 400 equals 0. Um, so actually even better, why don't we make this uh, 100. Yeah. So how would you solve one of these equations with the quadratic equation? Um, or with the with the quadratic formula. Well, right off the bat, this is these are big numbers, and I don't really want to plug in huge numbers into this thing just because a lot of writing and opportunity to like miswrite something or lose a zero in some number, then that throws everything off. So why don't we start out by just uh, simplifying the equation? Let's 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 set it to zero first. So 100 x squared plus 50 x. Let's subtract 100 to get 9 is 500 equals 0. And then let's divide everything by, by 50, because 50 is the biggest number that goes into everything. So 100 divided by 50 is 2. 2x two squared plus x and then minus 10 equals Zero. That's a lot nicer to work with. So now we can go ahead and use the quadratic formula. x equals 
negative b plus or minus square. Oh, I'm just rewriting. I'm silly. Um, let's actually plug in the number here. Um, let's go negative 1, because 1 is b, plus or minus square root of b squared is 1, then minus uh, 4, that looks like a y, minus 4 times um, a is 2, and c is negative 10. all over 4. Um, so what does that come out to? Well, uh, let's simplify it. Negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 um, minus 4 times 2 is 8 times negative 10 is minus 80 over 4, um, which is negative 1 plus or minus square root of 81 over 4. Well, square root of 81, that's just 9. Um, so that's equal to negative 1 plus or minus 9 over 4. So uh, when we add 9, we got negative 1 plus 9 over 4, which is 8 over 4, which is 2. Um, when we subtract 9, we've got uh, negative 1 minus 9 over 4, so that's negative 10 over 4, which is negative 2.5. So these are our solutions.